Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United. I'm of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody. And it's a match review. Uh, a couple of days later of course, Leeds went to Hillsborough on Friday night. Sheffield Wednesday were the opponents of course and came away with a 2-0 win. A fabulous result for Leeds this and given the you know the results elsewhere in the teams around us, it's looked like an excellent weekend for Leeds and one that is maybe pivotal in the race for promotion. We now sit in second position, one point ahead of Ipswich, who of course lost very, very late. A little bit of a taste of their own menace in Ipswich Town at Cardiff City uh, yesterday. Cardiff with two uh, late stoppage time goals, one in the 95th minute, one in the, in the 100th minute of the game. Callum O'Dowd, O'Dowd winning the game for Cardiff. Leicester City also drew uh, against Hull. So we're only three points off the top. Now let me know in the comments there below. Can we win the championship? It seems incredible to say this a long time ago. But uh, we're only three points off them. Can we win it? Let me know in the comments there below. Do you think we're going to get promoted through the automatic positions? Let me know in the comments there. So, Leeds, um, let's get to the game. Three changes. Um, Firpo came in at left back. Uh, Willie Nonto came in on the wing for Dan James. And the other one was on the wing as well. Uh, uh, right, sorry, left back. Sorry, right back. I think uh, Archie Gray uh, came in for Connor Roberts, didn't he? So... It's great we've got this 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 squad that we can chop and change. It's been a lot of games for Leeds United over the last week or so. So, yeah, it's great that we can just chop and change. And I, th I thought we played all right. You know what I mean? I thought first half was, was, was a little bit pedestrian. The lads look a little bit tired. But Sheffield Wednesday coming off the back of, uh, of, a, of, a, of a lot of wins... You know, four wins in a row. I think they did miss Ian, didn't they? Pervader, who's obviously on loan from Leeds, so couldn't play, but I think he's been playing pretty well in, you know, for them so far. I thought Ugbo was going to be a, a bit of a threat, scored didn't he, in the first game at Ellen Road this season with Cardiff City um, on loan from Twire, isn't he? At uh, First Cardiff, now Sheffield Wednesday for the second half of the season. He's been scoring a few goals, but ultimately he was very, very quiet. I thought Leeds... Didn't really do anything in the first half. It was all a little bit... It was controlled. We were controlling the ball. Uh, but, uh, you know, ironically enough, Sheffield Wednesday had the best chance, I thought, of the, of, uh, of the first half from that corner kick. It's a great save from Melier. Just makes himself big. Gets some kind of it, some part of his body on the ball and turns it round the post. Great save. Great save. You know, you can't give up in those positions the goalkeeper you you might think it's oh gosh it's going to go in but you've got to get yourself in there and he did and, and, and fair play to him it's another clean sheet from LA I think it's 17 clean sheets for Leeds now obviously Christopher Clarsen got one of them on New Year's Day didn't he against Burnham City I think melier has got 16 then somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments there below but yeah fantastic uh save which kept the game at nil nil and, you know, we haven't really created much. I felt Furpo was having a stinking game, wasn't he? About half an hour in, he, he was having a really, really poor game, getting torn all over the pitch, uh, really, by, by their, by their uh, right winger. Really looked like he couldn't really handle it, was having a really, really poor game. And then, just as it's going into half-time, we've created absolutely nothing. Um, he whips in a delicious ball, doesn't he, to, to, to the back post, where Patrick Bamford's there. Just stealing around the round the back of the defenders, ghosting in and tapping in for one nil. Onside, it's a lovely bit of play to be fair, and we go in one nil. What a great time to score! Because we were doing absolutely nothing in this game for 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 long periods of the first half. Um, just just non-existent really. Like I said, looking comfortable on the ball really, winning the ball back fairly quickly. Uh, as always, I thought Ethan Ampadu was absolutely fabulous in, in, in all game in, in, in the centre-back position. Rodon was decent as well. Melier had made a couple of good saves, actually, in the whole game. Defensively, it was a very good performance in, in the middle of the pitch. I thought we did OK. Glenn and, and Gruev were, were decent as well. 
And and you know we had the quality in the end to to put them to sword at, up in the top positions. Now we get in one nil up at half time. Fantastic time to score, and that for me changes the whole game, doesn't it? If if the game continues to be nil nil, the the longer it goes on, Sheffield uh, Sheffield Wednesday would have started to make a little bit more of a, of um, you know take more risks as the game went on. Maybe that would have opened it up, but as it was, leads one nil up. In control of this game, you feel a little bit more like we're going to control the game, which we did. Second half was just like a training exercise, wasn't it? Really, most of it, um, to be fair. And and Willie gets the goal on seven on fifty eight minutes, which kills a game. Really, it's a lovely bit of play. I think it, it, it it's come from, I think it's come from their lad Johnson bursting up that left side. Archie Gray has made a tackle, tracked him all the way back. And, and, and got a free kick down in the corner there on our on our right side. Melies took it. It's, it's route one, basically. Pat Bamford does really well to get a flick on. Georgina Ruta lifts the ball over to Willie Nunn, who's free, free as you want. Takes a touch into the box. Really composed finish from Willie. Fantastic goal. And that's 2-0. A couple of minutes later... Crease would have made it safe with third with the third goal. It's a great save to be fair by them at the, their goalkeeper, young lad Beadle. Really good save. <clears throat> Excuse me, that would have made the game completely done, completely safe. But we were pretty comfortable at two 0 I felt Sheffield Wednesday made a few changes and started to come a little bit more into the game. Um, sort of 65, 70 minutes, had a little bit more of a go. Their big big man Smith came on, didn't he, and, and caused one or two issues. They had an opportunity to, to, to get one back, didn't they, where Melier kind of spills a shot, but then he does incredibly well to get a hand on it. Smith just then pokes it past him. It's rolling into the goal, but Ethan Ampadu, of course, gets uh, in good time to clear the ball away, and the clean sheet is preserved, and it ultimately ultimately got. And, and like I said, so we don't concede many goals. We've got the meanest defence in the league at this current time. And coupled with the... the we can't do anything about what other teams do. But coupled with the two results there, I'm not too bothered about Southampton at this very moment, although they do have a game in hand on us, of course, don't they? But as it stands, you know, I'm okay with Southampton. They, they're they not really worrying me too much. It's it's more the two teams, Leicester and Ipswich. Can we win it? Can we win it? We're three points behind Leicester now. And for so long, Leicester City have been so far ahead, it's been untrue, really. But that's what happens, you know what I mean? They've hit a bit of a rough patch. I think that's one win in five for them. And we just keep rolling on. Look, 11 wins out of 12 games. Show today, Huddersfield was a little bit of a blip. That that was obviously their cup final, wasn't it? They've been absolutely hammered today by, by West Brom. So And, and lost, of course, in, in midweek to Cardiff as well. So... Yeah, it's 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 that was a disappointing one, but we've come back with two def- two wins in a row, two clean sheets. We roll on to Sunday next Sunday with Millwall, which will be again another difficult match because they're in a little bit more of a upturn in, in form recently since Neil Harris came back in. So we'll wait and see, but it's a little bit of a rest time now for Leeds. Get them rested, get the lads rested, a couple of days off in there, get back to it and, and back at Ellen Road. Let's hope for another three points. But the game Friday was a really good performance because West uh, Chef Wednesday have been on some a good run of form. Let me know how you felt in the comments there below. Did you go to the game? Any Chef Wednesday fans? Where do you go from here? Because you've been on good form. Like I said, I didn't I didn't think you offered too much on Friday, but you know you were definitely in the game until we scored that dead on half time goal, which I think just Killed, killed any momentum that you might have been building, but you definitely had maybe edged the first half with with chances and uh, always looked a little bit of a threat, maybe um, set pieces and this sort of thing. So, can you stay up? It's very very tight at the bottom there below. You've definitely given yourselves an opportunity to to stay in the league. So let's wait and see how it goes. Leeds fans, like I said, let me know. Subscribe and like to the channel. And anybody, actually, subscribe if you want to. Like the video. Let me know your thoughts on the Hillsborough win against Sheffield Wednesday on Friday night. It ended Sheffield Wednesday nil, Leeds United 2. Thank you very much for watching. Marching on together.
I'll see you on the next one.